Hello to the YouTube side of things. Uh, this is an experimental thing. I'm going to be going through and reviewing all of the world records for Xenotic that were set during December in 2022. They're uploaded to this channel here, which you'll be able to find in the description. And yeah, we're going to be starting off with Born Chrono Star Malice with our first video. Ignore what I said about that channel. The channel's linked in the description, you'll see it. Uh, you didn't miss any of the run. Pretty simple strafe map this. Got to be tight on your on your turns, especially here. Don't want to be hitting any of these up ramps, except for that one. Some of these maps I'm going to recognise, some of them I'm not. Crouch? Yeah, coming to crouch around that corner to... I'm not quite sure. That might be a Malice thing. <laughs> just, just crouching. I know Malice has played CTF in the past. We tend to see a lot more crouching out of C... Uh, like crouch AD and out of CTFers because it makes your hitbox smaller obviously you really got to be close to hitting this I mean if you're from Quake 3 we don't have skimming in this uh, so we're going to be hitting the walls but boom crossing the line and uh, yeah Mal is still with the world record beating a year old world record over a year old from Sulphur and even setting the speed record, the all-time speed record during that, which would have been just over this bay. So yeah, on to the next map. Uh, this one we're going to have to skip through. That is the right one, isn't it? Yeah, because it's 10 minutes. So we will skip through this one just a little bit. Just jump to by Eon Amino. I mean, the first thing is admin is doing it backwards. Like, come on. Also, come on YouTube, give me some like decent quality. So this could be dodgy because it's going to like default some crap qualities at some point. <laughs> but we're going to have to leave it on auto for the best. Otherwise, we might be lagging. Anyway, let's uh, skip through a bit. I haven't watched this one. Uh... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's definitely a tricky map. I mean, if you can clean this up, I did watch. To be fair, I did watch a lot of this run uh, at one point when it first came out because I was like, "Why is it nine minutes?" It's like, "Holy shit!" That's like a mad runner. Then I realised, yeah, it's a it's a not perfect run. You know, there's there's mistakes because you have to do this shit. Get up to like six hundred. You're 30 minutes into just jump and gave up. Yeah, that would probably be me. I mean, this is one where I think we're going to see, like, hardcore parkour. Let's skip to this room. I've, got, I've managed to twice in a row get directly onto rooms, which is not going to happen later on. Like, yeah, this is just exact. You know, you've probably got, like, 100 ups that you can hit, 100 ups range. And then you've got to restart it all over again to hit it again. So, I mean, pretty good time. I did, you know, I watched this this one. This is one of the longer runs that I have watched. I should probably watch the longer runs because I enjoy watching Xenotic runs. And if I'm going to start doing this, I might just start watching the runs, the longer runs a bit more. But yeah, it's definitely not optimised, this one. Let's watch right into the finish. Oh yeah, perfect, yeah, perfect strafing. I mean, it's perfect slick, perfect strafe sort of thing. Uh, to make any of these things and then just having to exactly wall strafe. Like, yeah, we can hold jump here, but... Is this map made for Xenotic or is it Quake 3 port? Because these are the fun ones when it's Quake 3 ports. These are the ones where it's like, wow, that still works. But there we are. Clearly, that wasn't even the first run. But that would be a hardcore parkour map. So yeah, it's on hardcore parkour. Contains slick. Uh, what were we beating? Another year old. Wow, almost a two year old record when that was beaten. And smashed it by two minutes. But probably already had the record before that. But I know coming in third. That's this year. Um, yeah, so here, took the record, um, 
and then broke their own record. It's pretty sick to see. So the next map coming up, we have Just Jump 5 Orange. This is only a minute long, so we'll watch the whole of this by the same guy, Iron Amino. This will be, I assume... Oh, right, so this is 05 Orange. This is a practice map for Just Jump. And this is actually one of the sections we watched, isn't it? No, it's not. It just starts off quite the same. So yeah, this is a practice, just to practice, segment number five of Orange. It's a minute long. Uh, so that's how diff that just shows you how difficult. Like this is a proper trial map. If you've got any time you've got practice maps, it's a proper trial map, you know, or a competition map. But to be fair, we don't really do practice segments in defrag competition maps. I don't think. I don't think anyone really does. You sc you can set pause. Is the thing in, and the maps aren't ever this long, rarely. It knocks two seconds off of the time, which is pretty good. Pretty good, I assume, knocking two seconds off own world record. Yep, again, a year ago. So that'll be when V's was practicing. Climb World's the only map that has practice sessions. Hmm. Yeah. They probably do exist, but if they're not on World Spawn, no one's bothered to bring them across to Zenotic, you know? So, yeah, V's took it. And that's when V's was practicing, because V's had the record before Amino on this one. So, next one. We are on Akimoli on Bug73. This map had a few world records broken this, uh, this month. a heavy rocket strafe map that quality has gone down on my computer what can I turn off to make my internet less bad I may just have to force 720 I wish I could force 720p 30 because I don't care about 60 FPS I'm only recording at 30 we'll force like yeah the bit rate is just awful <laughs> very grassy so sorry about the bit rate um, if this keeps lagging, we're going to have to go back down. Yeah, just boom, 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 rocket, spam, spam, spam. Very clean, but there was a bit of uh, a fight between there, which we should be able to see. Did it say what? I don't know. Oh, this wasn't this map that had a bit of a fight on it. Must have been another bug map. Because that's the time that was set. 5-2. Oh, 3652. So the time's come down nearly a second. 3651 must have beaten it. So, yeah, we will see a couple of tracks on this. Akimoli still holds it. Uh, yep. So, into the next one. Another Akimoli on Zeppelin Plutonic. That was a relaxed running map, by the way. Another rocket map. Akimoli's definitely... Oh, it's a rocket map with, like, lots of different... Different ways around. Yeah, there are a lot of maps I haven't seen. This might be a hardcore parkour map, because it does look a bit, like... Difficult. <laughs> but yeah, again, just clean. Just clean. Boom, there we are. Not oh yeah, it must be a hard yeah, hardcore farcore because not many people have completed it. It doesn't look too bad, you know, you got sort of only a minute. But yeah. A good run. A good run. Now NES Bunny, which I have seen played quite a lot this month. Or last month. Yeah, it's not that hard, but I think it might be, I don't know. It's probably nobody cared to bring it across, because it's not particularly a special map, is it? Really. Like, uh, it's just a rocket, a full a full rocket map. This is a weird map. This is a very difficult map to get the spacing right on, and then you get a little bit faster and your spacing changes. 
and Nero was the first one to take that. Took the record. But we are going to see a fight on this one again, as we see Dizzy, STR, who you saw was the splits that were being compared against by Nero. Um, yeah, all three weeks ago. So we should see them coming up a little bit quicker. Yeah, new records. Don't look at the <laughs> don't look at the spoilers. Oh, it, it is a it's a tough map to love. It is a tough map to love. Now we've got Blossom, who I believe is Rainbow Shadow. Someone may have to correct me on Vanilla Six. Oh yeah, this map. Yeah. This map made for uh, made for Quake Three, so slightly different physics, but made for VQ Three, I do believe. Oh, there was some serious grinds going on. I mean, this that's kind of what made me really want to do this. I've had this idea for a little while to do this, but yeah, I mean that's mad that it's on relaxed running. It's only got thirteen. And it's been up for a few months, you know, you look at the oldest records to see how long it's been up. Or just scroll down to the bottom. But yeah. So it's been up for a few months. Um, yeah. Good time. Good clean time. Interesting to see. Next we're on R7 Dale, which is a DES map. Oh, wait, no. No, no, we're not. We're on to uh, another Blossom map on Bug73. So we're back on Bug73 for the... for the battle. And yeah, what? I mean... It, it's going to be difficult to see what the time split is. First in 5-2-2 two, two here. A mediocre Rocketeer. It's going so fast, not even getting most of these um, speed boosts, actually. Just having to place them really well, but four seconds faster. And straight into the finish. Beautiful. You can barely see any of it again. We're looking at... Yeah, so that's that time. Knocking 0 0.01 off of the record. And one whole second exactly off of PB, just there. But yeah, 0 0.01 off of the record, the smallest possible time in this game. Uh, next up, Mario Hot Dog by Blossom. Twenty second, another a lot of rocket maps. I, I'm always surprised by rocket maps coming up. Uh, because I don't like them. I like weapons, but I don't like... Stream died, internet shit. Watch the recording. <laughs> Lol. Yeah, I. Uh, so as I was saying before the stream died, I'm surprised by rocket maps. Because I don't particularly like them and they're very difficult. And they're just hard to grind. But they're, they're liked by people and I like weapons. Oh, so we've got a bit of a fight going on. You know, we're going to have... Who's that, that one? Blossom. So, Clasps is Blossom then, maybe. But Heart was Blossom. That must have been... So, Clasps' record must have been just outside of the four weeks. No? Okay, it probably... So the thing is, it's, this is... A, yeah, on the same day. So uh, Morosophos doesn't always upload everything. Yeah, no speed factor is better. But... It's, it's the full rocket maps that I don't... I don't particularly like. Uh, not the... Not the idea of rockets. I like weapons. But it's the full rocket maps. Especially when they're not built for it. Like City Rocket's alright, it's built for it. But then it's not built for Xenotic, is the other problem. 
Uh, it's not built for Xenotics rockets. It's the same as Slick. I don't like full Slick maps. And full strafe's a bit boring. But that was a beautiful bit of strafing on R7 Dale from Des. I believe we've got... I did look through all these. So, like Again, we've got a very small amount of players. So it must have only been added recently. Three weeks ago? Yeah. There's a lot of maps on these servers. There is a hell of a lot of maps on these servers. So that's kind of... Yeah. Um, yeah. There is a new record by someone else. Wait, where's De Des is down in fourth now, damn. Guy got ripped on. But must have just got the perfect record at the perfect time to um to get a video made. Here's clasps on Cool Speed RL. So this is a map that's got a strafe, a rocket, and a, uh, a slick. And to be fair, this one actually works with all of them. There are different tactics and different things you can do in each one. Uh, like here, you've actually got to stop just constantly rocketing because otherwise you won't get around the corner. Um, and you use it at the start to get over things and you're going to use rockets... Uh, oh, not going to use rockets to get up that. But yeah, you're going to take different lines, whether it's slick, strafe, whatever. Oh, yeah, ramp bugs and stuff, but I mean in general. In general, it's not like... It's not like it just feels slapped on top. It feels like there are actually different things. It's not just take the same route as strafe, but faster, like a lot of slick maps are. Yeah, Sl slick being jank is just something that <laughs> exists in this game. Although as far as I'm aware, slick being jank isn't just something that exists in this game. It's because all of the maps are ported from Quake 3 and they don't quite port right. Uh, but yeah, especially like slopes. So yeah, nice record from Clefs. Very nice. Moving on to the next one. Where were we? So cool speed RL. And cool speed 5 RL. That was cool speed 3. This is cool speed 5. Same, uh... Same idea as well. It's got a load of stuff. Cool's made so many maps. Like that. That's something you could only do in the rocket. Or you might be able to do it in the slick, but you'd be different spacing to be jumping. So that's what I... That's, that's the kind of thing I like. And these cool maps are well made. And... Hitting that 2,300, though, um, where you just kind of don't rock it anymore because it's not worth it. But super fast. And nice to see class getting world records. Oh, it's got slick. Must have a patch of slick somewhere or something. Or it's bugged slick, I don't know. It's probably got a tiny bit of slick uh, <laughs> from like being regenerated. But yeah, beating a record from two years ago. Unless it was his own record. No, beating a record from two years ago, yeah. Damn, the long record. Long record to stand on a map like that. On to Foots Bunker Slick DF by a new player, Akrifo, coming over from, I believe, um... Oh yeah, this map. I don't mind this Slick map. It feels like it was meant, meant for Slick. Because, like, the way that all the jumps line up would be really jank if you were strafing. Um, coming over from, I believe, Warsaw. Warsaw race. So the reason that was such a small strafe is because these bits in the middle, they're not slick. So yeah. Riffo, a master of slick, just plays slick basically. 10 month old record by Mac Mac. Pretty nice. It's a regularly played map, this. 
You know, you see it every... Oh. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was more often played than that. Because I'm sure I've played it, but like... I've definitely... Yeah, there's me. Maybe it only counts you if you get... Uh, no. I don't know. Because that's not a PB. I don't know. I've played it multiple times. So yeah. Nice one. Nice one. Now we're back to NES Bunny. Another record by Nero. So I'm not sure if someone will have beaten the record by Nero and then Nero's taking it back because like I said, the records are broken up. Um, and own, sort of only done. So if you get a record, then someone else gets a record, then you get a record in one session. It's not going to upload all of those. It's only when Mario actually runs the, runs the script to do everything that the uh, things are uploaded. But yeah, now we've got the got the history. So that'll be this one, which Stray got second. So Stray, Stra, I guess, got second in there. First there, then was beaten by Nero. So when was that? That was on the twelfth. That was in the twelfth. So yeah, took it. Stra took it. Then Nero on the same day, so that didn't get uploaded. Stro got a second place PB, which must be really annoying for you. Especially since I think it was actually the record at the time. Um, then improved the second place. And then Dizzy. Boom. NES Bunny getting ground out. Oh, we'll see Dizzy later. Uh, cool speed, cool speed six slick by clasps, twenty nine flat. Ooh, just having to smash into that wall to scrub off speed, then lovely around the edge there. I don't think... Has Clefts actually jumped yet? Or is it literally just taking the... Uh, like using the ramp to go up? Because being in the air when you're slicking is so difficult. Oh wow, we're going to see some more of this then. We're going to see some more of this if we've got... Oh, never would have been never would have been record. But yeah, Dizzy now in the lead. So... Records go forwards and backwards. Records are actually, you know, being thoughtful a little bit more. It's difficult to see that sometimes when you're playing um, because a lot of the maps are... Like, there's so many maps sort of thing, so no one's, no one's too focused on one map usually. Now we've got Cool Speed 2 Slick from 6 down to 2. And 20 seconds, 0.35. Clasps again. This would be an interesting one to root because of those first stairs. Just rooting those first stairs in this bit. And then do you go straight on there or do you go around here? I guess it was decided to go around there because it must be flatter. And you can gain more speed or something. Not quite sure. Haven't played that map enough. The internet's died again, which is great for uh, the stream. <laughs> Hopefully the video continues. Oh, Dizzy took that one back as well. So did... Oh, it's difficult to see if Dizzy took the... There's no history button, is there? Hmm. Difficult to see if Dizzy took the record. And when? So two weeks ago, Dizzy got the record and then... No, three weeks ago, clasps, and then before that, who held the record? Because way back we no record markers, so don't know who held the record there. Yeah, good run, good run. Now on to Crouton Two Icy, which is another slick, again by Riffo. This one I've watched because I was trying to work out what the hell you're supposed to do. 
So I have played this map a decent amount, both on the Rocket version and the Strafe version and the Slick version. But yeah, I was trying to work out what the hell do you do there and all of this and hitting that button and all of that sort of stuff. So yeah, there's a button that you hit with the gun and it uh, gives you knockback. It's sort of here. Yeah, so you're shooting that little wall bit there, which gives you ridiculous knockback, a ridiculous speed to get around the corner instead of having to air strafe at too fast to air strafe. Great run, great run. Big improvement over the nearest, which must be using that, must have used that much better. It's really the only way. Must have used uh, that button much better. But yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, new speed record. So he must have got a bug off of that knockback. That's got to be the only way to get that speed record. Look at that massive number. I know someone did it on the practice map for XDWC last year. So I'm just ran some random, like, well, not random player because we contacted them. So it can't be random, but they just said, yeah, no one who could have got that naturally. Well, no one could get that naturally anyway. Yeah. Next up, we've got Ball Runner. Oh, Bull Runner, not Bull. Bull Runner. Which is going to be a strafe map because it's Malice. Ah, oh, some nice spacing. Yeah, this is a... This is a... A get your spacing... Look at that. Get your spacing right. And it comes so naturally and so clean. And the consistency as well. It's fallen off a little bit now, but the consistency of being, like, minus. And that'll just be better spacing than last time. That'll gain a lot of time, probably. Oh no, loses more time. So you're going to have to make up some at the end. Making up a bit there. And then if you're a little bit faster, you're going to get a less of a hit on that last section, that last little uh, up ramp. You know, If you're a little bit faster here, you're going to get less of a hit onto that one. So, yeah. Nice time there from Malice. What time are we beating? Been over a year old time. Uh, yeah, nearly two years old time, actually. Uh, with a new speed record. Taking that one. Amino tried to get it. But that's a hardcore parkour map. So, yeah. On, on speed. Uh, next up, we have Bug83 Slick. Again, Riffo, of course. Uh, here we go. It's so quiet. It's just, I just realised Slick, of course, has no noise. I was like, have I messed up my audio? Stream's crashing all over the place, so sorry about that. Wow, okay. Alright. Yeah, that's, so that's got some rooting to it. And then this bit just sort of bonk your head, bonk your head. Oh, and just knowing there, you just got to know, like, yeah, hit that corner, go up, trust that you'll make it because, you know, you should be able to make it. Inter these jumps, interesting to try and keep the speeds down to be able to make the air strafe and land, land where you want, I suppose. I think I'm complete. Wow. Oh, yeah. You'd have to go all the way down there if you didn't take that cut. Yeah. Wow. It's a long map. Bug maps are Warsaw maps, aren't they? So Riffo must be coming through from. Um, From also, I'm quite happy to play bug maps. But I've seen a couple. I can't remember what map I saw. It's an incredible run on Warso that uses really uses the bounce mechanic that they have in that game. The wall bounces, and you just kind of do mad stuff. And it's like that map is clearly made. It was definitely a bug map. I think bug 100. And it's like that map is clearly made with that mechanic in mind, which is really cool to see. Really cool to see. Hardcore parkour map, yep, because you can spend six minutes on it and be a decent player. Very decent player, you know, down here in the few minute runs. 
That's a big time. Over a year ago, again, long time records coming down. It's good to see. It's good to see. Really good to see long time records coming down. With new players as well. Um, so you've done that one, done that one. Uh, okay, now we're into Love It Tennis with Dizzy. This is... Uh, oh yeah, I've played this map. Yeah, so you've got to... It, it, it's hard to explain that start. I don't know. I should probably mute that tab. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's hard to explain that start, but you kind of got to... Spacing is important, <laughs> as always. That's a really good run. Where am I on this? I'm in 36th with a 7-8. I need to beat Daz. Yeah. That's a good... I was really happy with that time. But that's just mad. Uh, second or half faster. 0.3 faster than the next. This is something Dizzy does. Just like you see the tiniest little bits of time and then boom. Massive difference. Beating a six month old record or his own. Nice time. Very nice time. Another Dizzy domination. Coming in now. Back over to NES Bunny. See if there's a new route. Because we were getting very close to the spacing, not quite working on the previous route. I think we do have one, because I don't think they came over to this side to get that. Yeah, that's a different route. Yeah. So landing on that wall, different route. Little bit different. Not massive, obviously. Just different spacing, because you're going so fast. The spacing only works for, like, one run. If you're kind of improving, improving, improving. Obviously, at the world record, it's a bit different. But, yeah. That I think, so that's 20.49. Yeah, that is our current world record three weeks ago, beating Nero's previous record set a few days before it. Really nice time. Really, really nice time. Um. So next up, we've got R7 Dale. I'm going to see, so a lot of people have been using these squares. I think I saw it was ECAS when we saw this earlier. Yeah, ECAS. You have to just take it off of knowing. So that's Moon. That's ECAS. You have to just know who's who. It's going to be bloody impossible for anyone coming into this game to learn all these names. Because I know it because I've played with these guys for a while. And I know their colours. And because I've played with them, you know, we're not typing blue square. <laughs> but it is, uh, yeah. Just get that. There we go. This is Desi's room was very clean. It's just going to be a, a cleaning up and uh, better strafing lines. Since you're not even, okay, yeah, no, that's way better than what Des did. Oh, interesting, you're not using, yeah, going up top, which I don't think, uh, yeah, Des definitely stayed on the pipe, but that may have cost him sort of spacing. But yeah, where are we? So, yeah, a lot of people obviously overtook Des and quite a lot of time, but Des got one of the first runs in on that map. So guys have come in, Des took it, then, you know, Ecast took that one. Boom, straight in with that world record, first time. Yeah, new map. A lot of new maps this month. A lot of new maps have been added this month, post-XDWC. So next up, we're going to be going to Noctura. Uh, again, I believe that will be Ecast. Usually records come in uh, pairs. Yep, Ecast. So... Let's see how that one goes. Strafing along. Minute long map. So it's just about getting that spacing right. It'd be interesting. I, I don't know. Yeah. I normally take the inside loop on this and go low. But yeah, that brings you out better. As you can see, this map's a two way map. Dog in the background. This bit's a bit weird for some people. The reason it glitched there, if you saw that, it, whether it uh, caught on the stream, um, that's a warp zone. Not quite sure why there's a warp zone there. <laughs> but this map is definitely made for Zenotic primarily because a warp zone exists. I've got no idea why it's there. 
don't know if you'd like this map I don't know if you can run out of space in Synotic maps just if you end up going in a straight line I doubt it hit it only a minute map and I'm sure I've played like 30 second maps that are literally just slick in a straight line for 30 seconds Is it the fourth day? No, it's the third. Completely off topic. Pilg's releasing his uh, new sponsor tomorrow <laughs> as I stream this. So no new speed record. Beating a record from four months ago. Um, very nice time. Very clean. Quite a big gap. Quite a big gap there. But yeah, very clean time there. Next up, we have... He guess has just set a few records in a row. What's that? Five? Five in a row? For the videos, at least. Oh, yeah, this is a map that I've played. So, just to bring you back to the start, this is a pre-run that people do. You can escape by going around the back of these pillars, not hit the start trigger, gain speed, come in here, and do that to gain a load of speed and start at 900, 800, 900 uh, units a second. That's a full-on pre-run. That's not just a pre-jump. That is a full-on pre-run. Completely alters the route you're going to take because you're obviously coming through everything at two, three hundred uh, ups faster. And yeah, a lot of cuts on this map. But a nice little time save there. Tasty little time save on Ghost Strafe. Beating a three-month-old record by Mac Mac. I remember that record being set, actually. Yeah, I remember that record being set. Nature got a speed record in between. Yeah, it's a good map, that. Good strafe map. I like it because it, it teaches people to go through, um, like, take shortcuts. But it's annoying that it's got that massive pre-run. I don't like them. RDK statues next. Again, ECAS smashing them out right now. Oh, this is going to be a spacing nightmare, I can tell you. You're supposed to bounce on all the flat pads, I assume, but people are going to be going off of arms and all of that. Hey, Jada. Oh, wow. That's got to take some having a look at where the... where the... Um, God. Where the checkpoints are. To be able to check that you can take that shortcut and then in the middle of the shortcut you're hitting a checkpoint trigger. Mad. Absolutely mad. I said that's a really nice run. I like that. I'm happy. That's a good run. Beating Meekin from eight months ago. People still trying. People still, you know. A couple of runs going in. It's up and oh, yeah, 63rd. Uh, probably just didn't grind it that much. Serpent's been getting... I can't remember who the hell Serpent is. But they've been getting some good times. Been getting some good times. Right. Yeah, that was just mad. Next up, Tuni Tunujib. Glad that we've got pronounceable names still. This could be an interesting one. Yep. <laughs> Some <up> bollocks. <laughs> oh, I love these cuts. I actually do. I do. I love these cuts are what I love watching in, uh, in these games. Just boom, boom, boom. Lovely. Not getting a good amount of time off there. First one we rewatched. Being a seven month old record. Going for Meekin again. Boom. Takes out Meekin. Yeah. Good map. A lot of players. A lot of players down there. You know, 68. Can someone go play this map quickly and get a 69th player on there? You've done it. <laughs> I haven't done it. I can hop on after. Yeah. DRM Breaker, another new player to the scene coming through in sort of no late November, early December. Uh, Instra. Oh, this is just clean slick. It, this is just beautifully clean slick lines. 
Yeah, I might have even been on the server when this happened. I've definitely been on the server with Stro grinding this map. It's just clean. It's just beautifully clean, really. A lot of slick players. Riffo set a second place time. That would have broken that seven month time. Uh, Stra's time. Riffo getting in there though. These two going at each other for these slick records. I mean, if we could see the the rankings based on slick, <laughs> it would be incredible. Count Camo up next then. This could be one of those maps. I assume this would be a hardcore parkour map. Of course, hard, slick, malice favourite. Just... <laughs> An old name for Vert with the uh, slaps going on. The funny thing is, you can actually fake Nick with this because the names are taken as they are when you set the record. So even if you change your name after, it's the name is taken out of whatever the name on the demo file is. So fake nicking is very easy. <laughs> and I would have no idea. <laughs> so this, I mean, no, most players don't tr pretend to be other players and then set records. But yeah. Yeah, hardcore parkour, five people only finishing it. Big time gap between top and bottom and all that. It's pretty good. Beating a year old record. V's again popping up. V's haven't been around for a while. But yeah, got some records still. Certainly got some records. Next up, Stalker Siema. Dizzy is back. Beautiful through there. Oh yeah, I've played this map. Oh, I go straight up the front. <laughs> oh yeah, on that down ramp. Oh, did, did he hear that down ramp? I think he did. I think he did. That's a clean turn. Let's go back. Watch this turn. Just gaining speed the whole time. Really difficult to do at that kind of speed, to gain speed the whole time. And then a beautiful record that Dizzy takes there. Year old record by uh, Mac Mac, who would have been, yeah, just a few months after. Yeah, about a month and a half after term, um, Mui set that record, you get Mac Mac with that. Then a year later, you're in a little bit. Dizzy does that. Really clean, really nice and clean from Dizzy there. Uh, Cab Corp Nikki. Next up, Cab Corp Nippy. Nikki. I keep forgetting to say the name before I press the uh, button because I'm going to have splits and everything on the YouTube video. Oh, yeah, I've played this. Yeah. That wasn't a route I'd ever considered. <laughs> oh, nice gaining speed there. And yeah, I thought that would be possible. It's only just. Ooh. Yeah, I ain't going to be able to do that. I was trying to do that. <laughs> I was like, I'm coming up so short. I was like, it's got to be possible. Yeah, it is. But only, if you, but only if you're dizzy. Another year old record from Mac Mac goes down to dizzy. New speed record. Probably what you need to get across that, uh, that gap. Another record from Malice on Count Camo. So this will be pretty much exactly the same as uh, what we saw on the other Count Camo since it's only a few days later. A little bit of a potential slip up at the start actually. This definitely wasn't a huge time save over the previous Count Camo. No slapping this time though. Not slapping so much. Just try to get strafes in while also keeping the... Like, because you've got to keep up enough speed to get to the next section, but also not over jump or anything. 
So like you saw there, just on the edge, just going, I know I've got the right speed to make this next section. No point strafing, whereas there it was like, yep, I don't need the extra, uh, it doesn't matter about having the extra speed for that section, and I need the extra speed. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, we'll have a look at the records again. Yeah, beating his own record from uh, a couple of days prior. It hadn't been played until Malice came in a year ago and took second place, and then Malice, yeah. Hardcore parkour maps are a little different to um, to relaxed running maps in the way that they're played. They're more voted by people to grind. Cool speed three slick, having taken six and two. Clasps now going for number three. Nice bit of wall slicking. Zoom in. So this is a relaxed running one. So you can see a lot more people playing. As class just zooms past them at a million miles an hour. Ready. Did those people that class zoomed past know that they were witnessing part of a world record? Probably not. Probably didn't even realise it after they uh, saw the message in chat. Possibly didn't even see him. Ooh, Dizzy comes back on this one. Uh, probably beat a three-month record. Most likely. Or beat Dizzy. Oops. Press something weird. Next up, and Slick Challenge Black. Riffo. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Difficult. Oh, yeah, just straight in. That's the finish. <laughs> tricky map, tricky map, tricky map. Yeah, only a few finishes even. Right, it's only been up for... Oh, no, it's been up for two years. Oh, yeah, two years. That's not two weeks. So, wow, so Dizzy takes it back. So, two years ago, the only person to play it, Meekin. And then Riffo takes the record. Sinity tried to break, tried to do it. Apparently didn't finish it, but got a speed record. Uh, by an extra 60 odd. Riffo comes in, dizzy, race speed record again. We'll see that in a bit. Uh, Stra over an A1 race slick. This could have been happening at the same time, these two records. I doubt it, but they could have. In theory, because this will be on relaxed running and that would have been on hardcore parkour. I didn't know we had the top. Oh, that's how you do it. <laughs> I just like slam on the brakes when I'm in the air. But yeah, that's how you do it. Mad time. Mad time. Oh, yeah. Spoilers. Four month record beaten. What the hell is that name? Oh, Ranjid, yeah. Got weird things that break on my computer. Cool. Next up, Zeppelin Plutonic. May have to take a break in the middle of this. What a map, indeed. Oh yeah, we're back on Zeppelin Plutonic. So, this was a map that Akamali took um, earlier in the month. Hardcore parkour map. As was said, not 100% sure why, but it's kind of not a special map, so there's no major difference. Yeah, that seemed a lot cleaner from memory of versus what it was before. A nice run nonetheless. Yeah, there's Akamali's record, then that one. Nice, nice run. Uh, now, back onto Bug 73. So this record was Akimoli's at the start of the month, one of the first records we watched in this stream. Then Nero, I believe, took it. Um, and now Akimoli is reclaiming this record. Very nice speed. Just at that speed, 2,100, you can't really gain much off of uh, ground rockets anymore. So people just don't 
just easier to focus on your lines a little bit more there. Oh, Nero didn't take it. Um, Heart, who I believe is Rainbow Shadow. Also Blossom. Fake knickers, it's really annoying. <laughs> yeah. Huh. It's only got minus one. Yeah. Good run, good run. The return of Dizzy onto Cool Speed 6 Slick, which I was disastrous to hear that I'd have to say that name again. Not because it's a bad map, but because it's a difficult word to say. But yeah, um, Clasp's had this record. Clasp's been going for a few of these. I don't think Clasp's did that. This is, I think this is the one where I said, did Clasp's actually jump? And the answer was no. <laughs> Other than maybe one right at the start. Ah, oh, Dizzy, yeah, Dizzy kept a lot more speed around that last corner. Dizzy kept a lot more speed around that last corner. Beautiful time there, though. Really big improvement. Oh, Riffo must have got in there in the middle. Oh, no, Riffo gets second here. Yeah, beautiful time from Dizzy. Massive improvement on Claps previous second place. Riffo, pretty good improvement on Claps previously second place. Yeah. Pretty good, pretty good. So for the question from chat, as we watch the next one, because this will be much of the same on Cool Speed Slick 2 and Cool Speed Slick 3. Um, yeah, so Quake in general has an incredibly deep movement game. And uh, yeah, just like Surf or Rocket Jump in Source games, B-Hop. People made defrag because the movement was so good. It was kind of originally meant to be practice for capture the flag, but then obviously a lot of people just took it and they do that. This is their main thing now. Uh, and it's great. It's great fun. And people like Dizzy kind of only play it. Uh, I do. It's pretty much... I used to play duels, but it's pretty much the only thing I play now. See, again, Riffo coming in fourth there. Uh, Dizzy, beautiful time. New speed record. Nearly five... Yeah, 5,000. Mad. Cool Speed Slick 3. Well, Cool Speed 3 Slick. Again by Dizzy. A jump at the start. Interesting. Why? <laughs> and then take... Yeah, taking the slick round instead of taking the shortcut through the wall just to gain a ton more speed. Little bop off the wall. Didn't lose much speed, actually. I was surprised. That looked like a pretty heavy hit, but the speed just sort of didn't go down. And it just repositioned uh, his aim around the corner. Very, very quick map. Very nice beating clasps from a few days prior, which we did see that run. A lot of records, a lot of records this month. Nearly 100, I believe. Um, yeah. Dizzy taking the AO1 race slick back off of STR. Oh god. The hell is that noise? I'm just dying with a custom sound noise, I guess. So weird hearing no jumping noises in slick. And then just the the timer. Beautiful. Really good run there. Really, really good run. Yeah, STRs. Oh, did come back. So, what was the... I oh, said, so Dizzy put in that time. So, STR did actually somehow, despite it being on the same day, get um, get the record. So, Dizzy took it back there. We might have seen that. I assume we would have... We didn't... We saw an STR run on this. I'm sure. Not a Dizzy run. But yeah. Good run. Now Dizzy wants Anne's Slick Challenge back. Or just to take it for the first time. Going the other way around to... Uh, I believe it was Riffo, yeah. Beautiful. Super clean. Super big time gap. I mean, like, look at that. Super big time gap. Especially for, like I said, when we looked at it before. Two years, one year, Sinity doesn't even finish it. Otherwise, you would have a time on the board. 
Riffo comes in, sets a good time. A little bit of an improvement on Mickens' time from two years ago. And boom, Dizzy comes in, smashes it to bits by over a second on a seven-second map. It is a challenge, as it says. Next up, pipes are sweet. Dizzy, again. <laughs> Going to see a lot of Dizzy. He's a consistent face and a really good player in a lot of different games. Um, but his main game's Zenotic. Just, it just looks so clean, and then you'll see another run that just beats it, like slightly later. Seven months ago, Mac Mac. I mean, Dizzy killed Mac Mac in um, in the XDWC. Like the guy stopped playing because he was beaten so badly on one map that he just lost interest. And it's like I can see why. I don't blame you. Dizzy is a god, and I'm begging Quake Three players to come across because they're all looking at us like, "Hi, you're crap." Because Dizzy's beating everyone by so much. I'm like, "Come across. You will not challenge him." He's he is so good. He's doing something else. Bug seventy three backwards by Akimoli. He's decided I'm going to take the record on forwards and backwards. Interesting start there. Starting with a strafe rather than starting with a like backwards run rocket. But this is going to be much of the same as the forwards version, just in the alternate direction. Although I am interested about the. It's just after this, isn't it? The wall. How's the wall kind of work? Oh yeah, you don't have anything on the other side. I thought there was something a little bit easier on the other side. Uh, like it was shorter on the one side. Oh yeah, that's the one where it's a drop down. And on this side, I think you can do something else or something. I don't know. Well, that's tight. That's Yeah, I forgot about that bit being quite tight. Yeah, nice time. Two year time from V's beaten and there's been decent players on it you know Akimoli takes a second place there he off takes a third yeah good players on it over the year good map next up running cool quick grass slick with uh, STR oh yeah this map yeah I've played this one fair bit a decent time on it I think at least a time I'm happy with, you know. Might not won't be a top ten or anything, but it'll be a time I'm happy with. Oh, very clean keeping it low keeping it really low through all of those and really maximizing the chances of getting slick. Just nice, just clean. Good on you, STR. Good on you. Uh Riffo Yeah, Riffo did get the record. And then beats the PB, and then STR in that run gets it. STR got it. Oh, so there might be something in here. No, it was this time. Yeah. So we didn't see any of these battles. We didn't see Class. We didn't see Riffo. We didn't see, you know, this battle. We didn't see because of how the uh, things are recorded. But pretty nice. Pretty nice. Next up, we've got Cool Speed Slick 4. Cool speed four slick dizzy. Uh, assuming this one hasn't been taken later, owns four out of six. I believe there's six because we haven't seen a seven, but we also haven't seen one or one or five. I think. So dizzy may own all of them. Beautiful little jump up. Downhill slick is very difficult. The dizzy just kind of minimizing speed loss more in those sections. Keeping it on the ground and just trying to minimize the speed loss. Four month record from Mac Mac. Two months ago, clasps would have gone into second or third. Riffo is trying. Trying to get there. Just there in fourth. Nice time. Nice time for 522 there. And booty shots from Dizzy. It's going to pop in. Oh yeah, I know this map. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be a lot of maps that I do know. So yeah, you pop up here and you've got to get a double jump. So on this one, 
you're actually aiming to double jump off between the two ramps to be able to cut up here, hit that down ramp, then double jump, get a down ramp here, and then you straight into the finish. So yeah, it's the same route I'm taking, which is interesting. I think I get two down ramps, actually, because uh, I'm going slower. But yeah, nice time, nice time from Dizzy. Let's see? Oh, point 0.1 on Mac Mac from two months ago. A point oh one, sorry, even. Point oh one on Mac Mac's time from two months ago. Uh that is gonna conclude the first stream. So I'm gonna stop the recording now and um we'll stitch together whenever I next record. So oh with any quality changes that immediately happen now. Hello. Second half, let's go. Um, starting off with QLC, QLWC21 round one. The, it's not quite world. Quick live World Cup. Sorry, I completely missed the L. Would you believe it? Have I played this map? I might have played a map from this. But yeah, the Quake Live 2021 World Cup for round one. Nice, clean. It's a good round one map. Just a, a strafe map with a few different routes. Oh, that's an interesting route. Yeah, taking the... J just a tiny bit wider to take the... Um, to take the lower... L sort of less steep hit. Yeah. Seven month record from Mac Mac. Mui going in a year. Mui must have pretty much finished the... Um, Quake Live and then gone and got this. This like as those would have been as almost as soon as it came out. Oh, twenty twenty one, six, five. Huh. It was early in the year. Their World Cup. Uh, next up we have Cool Speed One Slick. That's another one that we uh we haven't seen Dizzy take just yet. Oh yeah, this map. Yeah, sorry about the um, <laughs> the bitrate on some of these sl slick maps. I swear they look better in game. Good clean run. Beating Mac Mac from two months ago. Class trying to get in there. You can see. Uh, oh wow, two years ago, Freud had it, and Riffo putting in a good time up top. Very nice. Some old records on here. Yeah, it's an old, old map and some like long, uh, long missing players there, but pretty nice, pretty nice run. Air pads two. Uh, have we seen this one? No, we haven't seen this one in the set. Go on then, YouTube. Let's go. Let's do it. There we go. Only just getting that down ramp, that first one. If you went any faster, I think you'd just fall off the edge and be in, in the void straight away. Yeah, just a straight line strafe, but with a little bit of uh, spicy strafing, uh, spicy spacing thrown in for good measure. Four months time from Mac Mac. A lot of Mac Mac's records now falling. Not sure if Mac Mac's been active. Let's have a look. Recent activity a month ago. Yeah, he's been a been out for a little bit. Oh, that was the XDWC. So yeah, not played since XDWC. But yeah, definitely a good player with that sort of time. And uh, yeah, dizzy. Oof. Damn, he's got some records down here. Um. Next up, we're going to have CPM 3A. <laughs> this, is a this will be interesting. Malice. Okay, absolutely no relation to the uh, CPM 3A dual map. But 
Yeah. <laughs> it's a tricky one, this, I think. Um, I mean, it's just a tricky map in general, but it's also a map definitely built for uh, Quake 3 CPM movement. And... Sticking a decent time drop off of Enco there. Decent time drop. Very close times, because it's one of those maps that obviously you have to one-shot. And you have to kind of get through the whole thing uh, with a certain speed. So the times will be very close. There will be certain sort of speed locks and such. Bug66 Slick up next by uh, Riffo. All about a specific start on this one. Uh, I seem to remember uh, a couple of people talking about it. Like you can get a really good start. And then yeah, you just really like nailing these little up ramps. Just awful, awful bit rating to be honest. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be double YouTube compressing these. That was a good time. It was a good time. What's the... Uh, the improvement over Ambi, who had the previous record, a big improvement. And he would have probably taken the record before that in that game. Nice improvement from 522 in that one. And takes the new speed record. Uh, up from... Nobody taking the speed record. But not completing the map. Must have just buggered about and uh, took the speed record. Next up, Nude Haste. Again, Riffo. Are we going to have... Oh, yeah, two in a row, same map. Let's go. Let's watch the battle. We will watch this battle. Oh, uh, yeah, just... Just clean it. This is actually... I mean, this makes it look very easy. But... To keep gaining this speed while also not smashing into the walls at the start. Really, really difficult. But let's see where um where Stur struck back. Yeah, you gotta get just in between. Like starting off, you can see just like gaining speed but coming in between the walls and then losing as little speed as possible and you have to hit a wall to it's not really slow down, it's more to change your angle. You just happen to slow down. You're trying to slow down as little as possible. A beautiful time there from STR. Managing to take the record back uh, just a couple of days later. And yeah, nice, nice little improvement between those two. Good to see a, a fight develop straight away. Another record by STR. Uh, sorry, by uh, Riffo. A slick on HGB Tofu Slippery. It's a good strafe map. It's got a lot of different, um, a lot of different angles to hit. I like it. It obviously shows like orange where you should hit and stuff like that. Slick. It's an alright map. To me, loses a bit of charm, but yeah. Mac Mac, another record falls from the man. STR's in there trying to get in. Uh, there sets the fifth place time in the same. Yeah, it's been. I mean, that's that's good. You see here, that's uh, yeah, a lot of players. It's good. It's good to see. Next up, we're going to have nude ADR slick again by Riffo. Oh yeah, able to do that cut. Oh, point two eight back on the start. Wow, yeah, those splits right at the start. So they're gold splits, so they're the fastest you've ever got to that section. Um, so yeah, fast second half. Very fast second half. The first half, not quite as good. There is always potential that a different route that, you know, gets you to the checkpoint faster, but with less speed can happen and the um, numbers we're seeing aren't great but yep yeah, ambient with a nine month ago record mac mac two months ago coming in stuck in with a second place at the time third place now nature up there good players good players up there 
But nice record by Riffo. Rolling on now to uh, Acudis. Okay, that's not that. Yep, that that word. Oh wow, just a oh down downhill downhill slick actually working. This is either a nightmare to play because downhill slick never works, or somehow they managed to get downhill slick to work. It seems like it is because I would have thought you'd fly off there. Like that. <laughs> but yes, uh Strange strange routing that you've got to do for that one. But yeah, good run. Good run. Try to keep on the ground as much as possible, clearly, with that wall bonk that sort of set him slower. Riffo again trying to fight back. Uh, Ferius in second place. Hmm, pretty good. Yeah, nice little map. Finally one we could actually see something on, I think, with the bitrate. <laughs> Hopefully YouTube doesn't crunch it twice and make it worse. Uh, downhill slick beer magnetic. Yeah, so it might be a gr bitch to grind then. Now we've got Amnesia uh, on bug 11 slick. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I've seen this map. Yeah, so it's um another bug map where we're gonna have a fair old bit of um fair old bit of cutting about. A nice landing there, beautifully up onto a bounce pad. I wonder if you can get. A, you must you must not be able to get a double jump on that. So I assume that in the Warfork version of this, you'd be able to. Not for that massive one, but for the little one, you'd be able to get up there somehow. Yeah, I mean, it's easier, like, strafe running up here. It was, I guess it's easier on those small bits. You can't really slick very well. Just bounce pad to bounce pad. And then roll it down the hole. Oh, I guess you hope, you're hoping to go in that hole, but if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. And into the finish. A lovely finish. Only a few finishes on this one, surprisingly, for a relaxed running map, but it's only been added recently. Nice new map. Riffo potentially is going to get in here with a, with a fight back, but yeah. Nice map. Next up, we have uh, Ingus, which is a map I dislike. <laughs> I dislike it because there's a Tele uh, there's a bounce pad that doesn't quite boost you enough as it should but it is a decent map it is uh, a technical a very technical strafe map it's a good map it is just the um <laughs> they're not liking this this bounce pad like you can only just get across with strafing whereas just holding w in um in quake 3 will get you right across that is how it's meant to be but this is also a new map and a very nice run that was very clean from banano very clean right we're going to see another record of this i think yeah very clean from banano uh setting the early record not quite taking the speed record there but yeah you can see in with amnesia Stra, then record coming up and yeah all these records. It's good to see new maps. New maps are good. This one, not a new map. Cool Chaos. At least I don't believe it's a new map. Mirio, our Lord and Saviour. If you do manage to beat this record, you will get many Zon coins. Mm, yeah. Oh, I love a bit of slick within a map. Not just a full slick map. Oh, that's that's yeah, that's tricky. That's very that looked really clean and simple, but to be able to pull that off without, you know, cuz you've got to keep speed every single time. You can't just go straight up in the air converting all of your horizontal speed into vertical speed because then you've got no horizontal speed to convert for the next jump. So, yeah, that was a 
really clean through that middle kind of upward section there. Oh, this must have been a new map then. Huh. Yeah, only a week ago. Must have been a new map. Hmm. Uh, we are over to Backley's 25. Which has some weaponry in it. Oh, it's a 20, 21 minute map. Uh, we're going to have to skip through this one. <laughs> Otherwise, this video... I'm aiming for like another hour. Um, two hours total. Mario, why do you have to play these incredible weapon maps? I assume you can't touch anything other than the ground there. Like the, the grey would kill you. Yeah, go look. If you want to watch a 20 minute run, go look up this map. Um, it looks pretty cool. It looks very difficult at the same time. Like you've got all these weapons and just slick and yeah, hell of a trial map. Hell of a trial map. Oh yeah, just getting stuck trying to keep yourself up above the above the points there. Nice bit of Hagar. Yeah, definitely some optimization to be done on this, but looks like one where you sort of you almost don't fail potentially, where there's no sort of oh yeah you're you're done for. You know, on a lot of maps there's a there's a you don't finish, but yeah, cross the line. Very, very nice from Mirio on a very, very long map. I assume he may have the only record. Yeah. So the only record, definitely a hardcore parkour map. Incre wow, that must have been a teleporter speed or something. Yeah. Next up, we're over to Bug71 Slick by Amnesia. I think, did we see a bug? We've seen a lot of bug maps. There's a lot of bug maps. There's a hundred of them, I believe. If you want to watch some Warfork, uh, Bug 100 is generally the recommended first viewing. I like it. That's clean. Using this, using kind of the gluing down of um, of the game. Oh, Riffo fights back. Oh, Riffo. Yeah, we must have seen this one. Yeah, Riffo would have got that record, and we would have seen that, and then. Um. That'll be the one we watch now, maybe. Oh, Riffo got another record five days ago. Ah, so we've just watched that one. New map. Cracking. I'm a bit lost. Anyway, Bug 11. Bug 11 next up. We saw... Yeah, we saw Amnesia take Bug 11 slick, didn't we? This is the one. Yeah, because he cut all the way across to there. A nice cut for the strafe version, though. Nice big uh, big cut there. Bit of wall strafing. Just easier than kind of slowly running into one wall. You just forcibly run into one wall. Really nice. Very clean so far. Three seconds off of uh, current PB, although that is only in the session. <laughs> yeah, strafing up here on the slick version, so, you know. Possibly might be a little bit boring of a section. That's where sort of that's built for Warfork comes in. Oh, just misses out going down the hole. You tell Mouse Wiggle, frustrated Mouse Wiggle. Yeah, the Warfork with the wall bounces, that section would be fine. But in here, a little bit on the weird side. 
new map again one week ago uh yes we're gonna get some more records coming through i think yeah wow the time only falling by oh no a second and yeah a second and a tiny bit sweet next up on to cool fp a new map that i played in quake 3 for the uh quake 3 um DF comps, that's it. So it's a techie strafe map with a bunch of different routes and the velocity pad probably won't work, so the route for Quake 3 probably won't work. But that's a nice route. And then li losing as little speed as possible and across the line. Nice little map. Everything set a week ago. Yeah, some good times on here. Good times on here. That was uh, 3XT5 XDaisy. I don't know. I'm bad at names. Oh, X Ecstasy. Ecstasy. I'm bad at pronouncing things as well. We'll see that one again, I think. A lot of the new maps we'll see again. Um... Next up, and GPL2 Slick. Slick only starting after the start, which is interesting. Yeah, you can kind of almost get around the whole corner without... Um, without hitting the... Uh, just like, you want to perfectly take the corner. You can kind of see here, boom... Boom, just constant turning. Very nice there from Riffo. Beating an eight month record from Mac Mac and Night two years ago, Comia three years ago. So an old map that's been ground well, but being on a minus eight rating it probably didn't pop up too much. I think people get confused because I know these bounce these um pads can be a bit crapped up. Um Another long one now, Rovno by Mirio. Mirio being the king of long maps at the minute. It's a Minecraft parkour map. <laughs> uh, I remember when I played Minecraft parkour and then came to Defrag and was like, why didn't I just play Defrag before? Ah, so Mirio doesn't actually know the way around this map, which is quite incredible. So let's skip through because... Uh, I think there's a record up for the taking if you were to watch this video all the way through and then figure out the um figure out the route and just go and do it fast you would probably be able to beat Mario's time. Oh, it gives me so much nostalgia just like Minecraft in general. I kind of want to play Minecraft parkour again, but why not just play Defrag and play Minecraft parkour maps in Defrag? The old glass textures as well. <laughs> right, let's see the finish then. See the last 30 seconds. Oh, go on. It's so difficult to get down tiny little gaps in um, in Zenotic and Quake in general. Yeah, Mirio definitely on the first playthrough of this trying to work out what you're supposed to do. But there he goes across the finish line. Beautiful. Is that going to be the only time set? Uh, nature's going to beat it. Nature potentially doing what I just said you should do. Um... <laughs> Destroying Mirio's time there. Only a 600 unit. That's how technical this is. Only a 600 unit max speed. Anyone ever reached on that. Next up, another long map. Sky Vino. Uh, another Minecraft map. Oh, wow. That's cool. That's a really cool map. 
This is what I think of when I think of um, Minecraft parkour, though. This is kind of the way I think of Minecraft parkour, w whether it's in the sky or whether it's um, like based on the ground. And then the gold blocks are checkpoints. It's pretty sick that these have been converted and like, you can see here the, the weird color screen change, that's going into water. So it's invisible water to be able to make the ladders work. Although the problem being that in Minecraft, whether your feet or your hands are on the thing, you can climb up, which means you can kind of jump between ropes and stuff. It's the reason you used to be able to go every other with ladders in Minecraft. Uh, they have unfortunately since patched that, <laughs> so you can't save half your sticks. Mirio. <laughs> just... Oh. That was the correct... Ah, oh, right. I was going to say, that was the correct thing to do? No. You're just flying out of there. And I guess that the bounce pad is not quite right for for this game. But here's the finish, into the nether. And now we're going to nether for no. <laughs> nah. Yeah, decent map. That may have been the bounce pad that gave that speed. But yeah, sub five minutes. Looks like a good map. Now, back over to more normal maps. Uh, WSE Fast by Nero. That is a hell of a uh, flick. Wow, that's a hell of a flick start. That is, yeah. Just about. My oh, that's nice. Yeah, so that cuts out actually quite a large chunk of that map by the looks of things. And then sort of just knowing the route down and being fast enough to not need to take these up ramps. But then boom straight into the finish. Knocking a chill. 0.7 off of his own record which he'd already set before that anyway so yeah knock the record down a little bit knock the record down a little bit yeah already had the record there uh with a 2205 so yeah to broke his own record there and Mui from a year ago next up we have r7 lex I believe we saw someone play this one. Unless I'm thinking of a different map. I might be. We've had another R7 map. R7 Rust, but I don't think that's it. That's not the one I'm getting it mixed up with. But a long map. I think Mirio's just gone round finding all the really long maps no one's bothered to play yet and just gone, I'm going to go take a load of world records. Because that's sensible. Unless he asked for all these maps and kind of, you know, if you ask for a map, you really should put a completion in on it. <laughs> You're going to ask for a map, just like... Took an hour to finish. Damn. And this is 23 minutes, 27 seconds. So it's a failable map then. Yeah. But it's, yeah, yeah, it's got sections you can fail, like you could fall off this sort of thing. Yeah. Because there's some maps where they're like just really long. Oh, maze, yeah, mazes and shit like that. Oh, yeah, here's a maze. <laughs> Is a maze. Lovely. It's weird how bad mazes are for the YouTube uh, compression algorithm. Although I think we're maybe on 480. Oh no, 720 still. Yeah, sorry about awful quality. Uh, <laughs> we'll just keep apologising. But you can always go watch these at much higher quality on, uh, on Mara's YouTube channel. I recommend it for some of these longer ones if you do want to see how they go. If you've watched this far into this bloody video, you can go watch a couple of these. <laughs> mm. I should play some of these longer maps. I said last year I was going to do um, 
climb world and i still probably should should just hit climb world one day just like yep i'm gonna do it just go do it big fall And then, I guess the finish is just up here. I personally haven't done any time locks or any challenge maps, really. Boom. Oh, no, still not finished. No mud. <laughs> just a little bit further. There's been like three. That's the finish. That's the finish. That's the. Is this the real finish? Yep. Wow, the fact that he got a minus 40 seconds means that in that session, he also finished it in 24 minutes, which is mad. Which would have been world record anyway. And especially since Amino, and that was a day ago. So yeah, Mirio's first, first record, first place, still unbeaten. Very, very nice. Next up, Upvano by Amino. Got a different person playing the Minecraft maps. And there's just someone spamming over there. Let's see across those. God, this is really just making me want to play uh, <laughs> Minecraft parkour. Don't do it to me. Does Mine Test have parkour? Does anyone know? <laughs> I don't know if Mine Test has parkour because I can play that more on my phone. I don't know if Bedrock Edition has... Um... It's weird. Some of these tricks feel like they wouldn't work in Minecraft, but there must be something to them, spe something specific to them. Because there's like some double jumping stuff going on, but there must be either a different way around or something we don't have in this game that works. Like you press the button and it does something or whatever. Yeah, we'll start skipping through this one. It is, it's interesting watching, so we sort of quite a lot of the time focus on hard strafe and going very fast in this game. But these maps are much different, really. These Minecraft maps, they show a completely different style of gameplay with, you know, you can see the, the technical parkour. I mean, it is parkour, isn't it? Minecraft parkour. So it's very, you know, technically minded rather than speeding through everything. Although there are parkours that are speeding through everything. Art of Rhythm is, yeah, rather than being technical. I believe that these are ported from Minecraft. Let's have a look. Oh, for no... Now the interesting thing is when I googled up for no Minecraft parkour, <laughs> uh, the first thing that came up was these videos from Morrow's channel. So potentially there's Xenotic maps that are built to look like Minecraft or be in Minecraft. Uh, I'm not sure. Someone please let us know. I can't find anything. It's just come up with generic Minecraft parkour stuff, videos and such. Yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting that there's a different style, especially if these were made for Xenotic. The fact that there's a different... Like, that just feels like it wouldn't work. I mean, I know stairs jumping is a thing, but... Yeah. Will we see sub-10 on this map? Quite likely. I mean, there's a lot of mistakes going on right now. <laughs> yeah, Minecraft the best on mapping toolkit. Mirio set the first record and then uh, Amino. Oh no, Amino got it, then Mirio second, then Amino beat it. So, sub 10, nice. Unregistered player has a speed record. Again, like tiny, less than a thousand speed records. Um, good for no. We're going to skim through this one. 
because I believe it will be kind of the same thing. Just, yeah, it's technical. It's technical, it's good. I like, I like this sort of map. I might go play one of these. Especially if I watch the whole way through one of these videos to work out what the route is first. That's probably going to help me. <laughs> Like I'm skipping large chunks, it feels like Mirror is in the same place. And if these are built like Minecraft uh, things, each room has a very distinct feel, usually. Next up, our mazes and stuff. St it's still stuck in the mazes, like, yeah. Then back to some uh, sort of tricky point to point parkouring. Now up the chorus fruits. Oh no. Oh, cross the line. Nice use of um, tripwire hooks that I don't think have any string in them because they were in the up position. Again, Mirio, the only guy to have set a time on this map. Again, like a less than 600. You could probably break that speed record just by running around in circles in one of the rooms <laughs> if you wanted to. But next up, we're... On to LTDFC 47, Akamali record. So it'll be a weapon map. Oh, interesting. We're going to have a grenade secondary. And then weapon mi Wow, Jesus. Oh, it's a back and forth map. And, oh, look at that. Just we hard weapon mixing there. Just boom, 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 boom. I feel like you could just look backwards if you learn to strafe backwards hardcore parkour map very badly rated hardcore parkour map <laughs> it's a lot of minus threes but that's a lot of players for a hardcore parkour map that's a lot of players uh completing it but yeah good run good run next up we're gonna have porn star slopping slick noob by dizzy Oh yeah, you're going to have to rely on magnetic and then just... Abs it's going to be magnetic, then absolutely fling yourself. And then... I mean, most of the time is going to be spent actually just strafing, isn't it? <laughs> because you're going to be in the air. But a 17 second dead time. Nice little improvement on STR, who took the second place in that run. So Dizzy, defending... Uh, STR had second, improved second, and regained second, and Dizzy just improved, being a boss and proving to everybody he's top dog around here. This is a nice map. I've played this in um, Quake 3. Let's see how it works out in Zenotic. U1P Combo Run 4 by Iron Amino. Not going to be shooting that. So if you shoot that fist thing, uh, or punch it, pummel it, you get knocked back, so I'm not sure if that's a thing. You won't need to use the green, so the green bits explode rockets automa uh, grenades automatically. Interested at just not using weapons. Um, should have got a weapon there, that might, might be broken. Oh no, yeah. Yeah, oh, the bounce pad's broken, yeah. Uh, yeah, of course. So you use a, what's it called? Overbounce. You use an overbounce to get up there, I think. Then an overbounce in this corner as well. But rockets are limited in the original. Rockets and, and ammo is limited. So that's, you know, it's, it's got to be done to make up for it, of course. But a nice time. Nice time. Only two records and Alaskan Dan had the previous... Uh, Speed record. Malice had the previous speed record. Both just unable to beat the map. Next up. Up for no by Iron Amino. We're going to skip through this one because we already 
covered it. So we'll look at the start again. See if there's any improvement. Oh, you don't actually have to land on the on the pads. That may be the biggest time improvement we've had. You didn't have to land on the pads. And there was already a mistake there in the previous run. There was already a mistake there. This is a lot quicker. Yeah, you can see two minutes going to be knocked off. I mean, 30 seconds is going to be knocked off before you're out of that first section. And then just knowing where to go as well. It's really going to help. We watched this section before, didn't we? I believe. Remember the gold piles and stuff going into the snow? Yes, technically it's interesting because I don't... I, th I feel like some of these wouldn't work. Oh yeah, we definitely watched this bit before. What's going on? What's, what's the strategy here? I believe it was just yeeting before. Oh, we've now got the route strategized. Yes. Before it was trying to take a shortcut, I believe, up to the top, but must be just too difficult and worth going around. Potentially the next record we see after, after this, whoever improves it will be taking that shortcut. And across the line. Beautiful. Yeah. Good improvement from Amino. Uh, on their own record. Next up, we have uh, OSAS Challenge 3. Uh, nature. So, just a down. Yeah, downhill. Oh, well, it looks like there's it looks like there's a lot of wide space. So, uh, and just a generic head down the hill kind of aim to this one. A few other people going a different way. Nature just avoiding that. That would have been a really big hit to speed. Just avoiding it and managing to land on something basically flat. But even these little down ramps, so much air type and so much um, vertical speed by the time that you're actually landing. I mean, like, yeah, <laughs> just fast, fast down the hill. Pretty nice. Nice time from uh, nice time from nature. New map. All records a week ago. Nature setting that time. The one, two and three in the first run of it. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Next up, Pornstar NC2. By Akimoli. Oh, look at that weapon comboing. I wonder what bind, whether he uses binds to do that, because it's so quick. Like, potentially it's scroll wheeling. Or um, or a shoot bind, like next weapon, prev weapon sort of thing. Shoot then next weapon, prev weapon, I'm not sure. Could just be incredible. Uh, press the button while strafing and all that sort of stuff. Oh, that was a good save right into the finish line. I wonder if you can get directly in there. Be tricky to do. But it's a big improvement on Ambi's time. Nearly two seconds there. Big improvement there. All the things. That looks like a good map. That looks like a good map. Uh, next up, we are rolling over to Osas Challenge 2. I'm sure it's our last... Oh, yeah, here's our last ones from five days ago. Uh, yeah, so Osas Challenge 2 with Malice. Oh, that's a strange... Apparently, Defrag World Cup 2019. I doubt this was in it. <laughs> what on earth? Yeah, that looks like a challenge. Wow, that's a... Uh, it's a map and a half, isn't it? Looks incredible. But working out where the hell you're going to go on that. And figuring out which side... Like, I'm confused watching this. Figuring out which side is 
which side you're supposed to be on that's not going to just slide off like which side is the floor now and you've kind of it's such big gaps that you kind of got to jump between them that's a hmm yeah oh and we're just gonna jump straight down a bit of guesswork and hope for the best i think just vaguely knowing where the finish is but going fast oh wow going fast now yeah big gaps between the jumps then if we're going that fast but the time is going to fall malice putting in a good time only added a week ago again another new map next over we go to uh, bug 71 rl by gfx quick map oh yeah we already saw bug 71 slick so let's have bug 71 rl Nice rocketry, nice into the corners. Diff very tight map, so probably very difficult to keep all the speed with the rockets around each corner. Pretty good run, pretty good run there. New map, yep. Yeah. But only the first person, you know, a good time and the first person to play it. With uh, Linux in a bit in second, quite a ways behind. But yeah, there's definitely improvement on that map. Um, yeah, back over to Cool FP. I'm good to see, like, we've been kind of looking at the view count, and it's pretty good. Pretty good view count on each of these maps, which I like to see. The amnesia here. Malice, who I believe had the record before, if I'm not misremembering, from about 10 minutes ago. Um... Oh no, I think it was Amino who had the record before. Maybe someone else. <laughs> I don't know. But Malice has the current record on the map on the track at the minute. And there it is. Cool FP. Ah yes, it was um, Ecstasy. Who had the record. Nice time there from Amnesia. Very nice time taking the record. Another new map. Uh, yeah, good record. Roller Coaster 2, this is a slick map. This is a slick map built for slick, and it is an incredible slick map. About to witness something probably quite special, because I just couldn't put a run together on this map. Uh, not for bugs, but for... It's difficult. You know, straight over the top. Around there. Really nice. And then just... It, it's difficult to strafe in these... T like, when you go 4,000 units a second... Uh, just to keep it going and then straight through. Beautiful run. Yeah, it would be interesting to know whether it's people that are currently in game and looking at the record or people that are um, just looking in at the game. It would be nice to see. Breaking an old nine month Meekin record. Riffo coming in, taking all our slick records. Doing really well at it, actually. I'm glad. Glad we're getting some new players. From other games, like new high-level players. It's pushing this sort of to almost 100 records. Uh, next up, we have NR Quickie Run by Ferrius. That's almost 100 records in this month. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Tricky, tricky little map, that. That's where you can sort of see, like... There's those parkour elements we saw on the Minecraft-inspired or potentially actual Minecraft parkour maps. Um, ooh, weapons. Yay. I've never seen the Hagar be able to be used like that. That's... yeah. Because you'd ground boost in Quake 3 with that. It's a next run. That means it's actually built for Xenotic. Or oh, next was. Cool. Uh, yeah, nice time there from Furious. Beating a two-year-old Sulphur record. Wow, that's an old record. Yeah. Over two years old when he beat it. Very nice time. Surprised he's got a minus two, to be fair. And it's a hardcore parkour as well, so I'm, surpri I'm surprised he's got a minus two. Uh, NR Pads. Which will be next run. That'll be the 
the NR. Ah, uh, yes, this map. Uh, this map ran for 240 minutes it was voted for. I'm not sure if somebody just put in call vote 240 minutes and everyone was too polite after that person left to change it. But this map is so difficult to get because it's obviously it's, it's built to be trading. So it's like possible to go too fast for it. So just grinding for that. I mean, these guys, like, one week ago, they're in the same game, and that's when they've set the time. Like, look, these are all the people that set times. Like, I've tied up there, and, you know, this was a long, long game of setting PBs and setting times. And it doesn't kill you when you land off. It just puts you back to the start. So, yeah, you can get, like, a four-minute time. But if you've done it in one go, you should be, yeah, between 12 and 11 and a bit seconds for the perfect. And, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, that will be the slowest time without resetting. It is a good map for learning, though, if you want a learning map. But I wouldn't recommend grinding it. <laughs> Hell of a grind map. Next up, Oasis by uh, Amnesia. We saw the slick version of this map a little bit ago where we were glued to these down ramps. Now we're going to try and hit as many of the down ramps as possible with as much airtime as possible to be able to gain the most speed off of them. And then also just really clipping as close as you can to those... Uh, Oh, yeah. There's a lot of technique and, like, technical ability. It's not just trying to get that green strafe bar to be the smallest possible. There's a lot that goes into this. And although you might not be able to completely predict, there was a little wiggle there. So that wiggle, that was to be able to take the up ramp while going up. So you lost less speed off of the up ramp. Because if you take it while you're falling, you lose more speed than while you're still travelling upwards into the up ramp. A nice time there from uh, Amnesia. New map again. Only added a week ago. And yeah. Pretty, pretty good time. Hopefully some of these record, you know, some of these can get really long and can get some good records on uh, some of these new maps. Some of them might not be the best, but, you know, here we are with Ingus. The new map, we saw Banano's record, which was a very early record, one of the first games played. Uh, one of the first records set. Now, I'm usually taking a different route there, not going for the down ramp at that start. It is if you go too fast for the down ramp. Um, and then not taking a cut and going wide, which could gain more speed, but the bounce pad's going to reset you anyway. Nicely up and clean. With some good time save. Oh, cleanly through that section, just a little wiggle just to get through each bit. It's left, right, left, right, dodge and weave, dodge and weave. Nice time. Nice time. Setting a really solid time on that map. And taking the speed record in the process. Oh, Amnesia had it first and then... Oh, it's been... It's exchanged hands a few times then. Yeah, I thought Banana's record was first, but I misremembered. A good time on a decent map. Over we go to Bug71. We've seen Bug 71 Rocket, we've seen Bug 71 Slick, now let's see Bug 71 Strafe. Yeah, there's definitely room to save on that, uh, that Rocket one, because that was cleaner at the start without having a Rocket Launcher, having to do the double jump. So you can definitely make that with the Rocket Launcher, because you can obviously just not use it. Yeah. Rocket Launcher time was fast though, so that's important. It wasn't a wasted Rocket Launcher. But another map with only a few times set on it. But nice times, good times, good quality times. Not really too much to say about maps that I haven't personally played myself. Here we are into the second last one. We're going to have Ossas Challenge 1, Ossas Challenge 2. 
I haven't seen challenge one. We've seen challenge two, challenge three, but we haven't seen challenge one just yet. This is six second map. Oh, when did we start? <laughs> what happened there? There must be a pre-run on this. Yeah, there must be a pre-run on this. But a nice, wow, yeah. Strange map, <laughs> these sort of things, but yeah. So clearly a pre-run. Good amount of times, good amount of times for uh, a map like that. Oh, you found the skip. Oh yeah, yeah. There, the time just drops massively between the two. Yeah, the pre-run skip. Pretty nice. Good job, 522. On the... Um, I meant to go all the way around and then... Uh, but there's no checkpoints to make you. Sick. Here we are on to the last one. Osas challenge number two. With Malice. Almost managing the sub minute on this map. And it's uh, it's the same tactic as last time. But as you can see, there are more maps or more runs to watch, so we definitely have some more to uh, more to cover next month. I'm probably going to do this next month. Amnesia getting in on the grind, but you can see just just like Malice massively caught up there. Very very quick catch up. Yeah, the, the block's just getting bigger and bigger. And then that shortcut down is quite incredible. And just, that was a lot more speed gained. I think last time didn't really, landed flat, didn't really gain much speed malice. Whereas this time, a lot of speed gained straight across the line. Big time save. Beautiful. Only a few people finishing it, even though it's a relaxed running one. 2000 speed, the new record, just outside that one minute time. But good run from Malice to finish off the year. So that won't be the last record of the year. These ones kind of will be. But I've gone with, um, I've gone with from, uh, from what it says on the YouTube. So as you can see, we've got um, more more to cover for next month. We're going to go through all of these next month uh, and whatever else gets added. Thank you very much for watching. Let's have a couple of tallies up. So we've had some definite repeats, but where were we with our first one? Our first one was Kron Kronostar. So that's two. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So 23 times 4 plus the 3, the extra 2 at the bottom. So there's 95 records set and recorded multiple records will have been set but it depends when morris office runs the um runs the script i'm going to leave a link to the description uh to morris office's videos which are uh all of the records we also have the zoonotic defrag website where you can see everything and i will link to some other bits and bobs about how to get started playing if you've managed to get through all of this you really should start playing so thank you very much to everybody who's watched whether it's in the live stream or on the uh, YouTube video. Yeah. Cheers. See you next month.